Hey guys, so as you saw from the intro, this is probably one of the most fun games I have ever played. In this video, we are going to see why building the hero the right way is so important, because it will certainly determine the outcome of the game. Also, our team composition is pretty unique. We are lacking a lot of damage, especially when our ADC and Basha decide to build them in a very interesting way, but that's probably part of their plan, since they want to make this game as much fun as possible. In this game I'm using Cyclops, and throughout the early to middle game, I will do everything in my power to help my team gain the most advantage in the early game, especially the ADC, so he can have the easiest time farming and shy in the middle to late game. Diggy bought the mask after Kufra already bought it, so they both will be stuck at level 1 for a long time. Even though I keep mentioning this, I think a lot of players are still doing this, and for that reason, I think you should hit the like so the YouTube algorithm will recommend my videos and fewer people will not do this kind of mistake again. Diggy is feeling extremely generous in this game. He will feed the enemy 20 kills. Maybe he thinks that they're starving and wants some fried chicken. Whenever you are done clearing the middle lane, you should look at the map and see which lane will have a hard chance of getting a successful gank. When I play in the middle lane, I always try to gank and allow the ADC to have an easier time transitioning to the middle to late game, since most ADC are not that strong in the early game. You can see how Diggy and Kufa are still level 1, if you still don't know how the roaming mask work, I will suggest you to watch my video about the roaming mask, I will leave the link for that video in the description. Farsa is having the easiest time killing my teammates because they are so under level. Whenever I steal the enemy's blue buff, I always try to leave this small minion, so it will take a lot longer for it to spawn. Unless my team is way ahead, the taking their blue buff is almost guaranteed. I am continuously pushing all the turrets and trying to finish the game fast. I know it's kinda of boring this way, but don't worry. My teammates are going to make this game extremely entertaining. I am sorry Yi Song Shin Sensei, I definitely should have 100% kill participation instead of just 9 out of 12 kills. I am trying to finish the game as soon as possible, because in any solo rank game, the longer the game lasts, the harder the chance the enemies have to make a comeback, especially if my teammates like to make the game as enjoyable as possible. I see a lot of tanks doing this beautiful play, they want to be like Rambo and jump into the fight without any backup. Basha is already very low in HP and we are very close to the enemy's base, so that tells you that we are going to be outnumbered for sure. 
Diggy's ultimate is a pretty good atlas counter, but Diggy says screw that, you will make the game too easy and boring. I'm always trying to aim their main damage dealer first, in this case Farsa, but to be honest, Farsa does have an advantage over Cyclops, thanks to her ultimate range. Here I'm trying my best to finish the game fast, because my team composition is just isn't that great and if my teammates don't know how to deal against Farsa, then it'll become extremely hard to win the late game. But who am I kidding? Winning is not the main objective of the game, it's all about the challenges and to make it as entertaining and fun as possible, and my teammates totally agree with that. When you're playing a tank or a support, if your team damage dealer is not around, then there's no point in engaging in a fight unless you want to show them who is the real boss. And this is when everything started to become a lot more entertaining. If your objective is to have as little damage as possible and turn the hardcore mode on, then I would recommend you build your ADC like this. Critical items with a Berserker Fury. But if you want a more standard build, then remember to subscribe so you can check out the video that I'll be making about how to build any ADC hero. Let's not forget about Basha. Tank? What is that? He's going full rainbow mode. He wants to kill everyone by himself. You can see how hard I'm trying to finish the game as soon as possible. After I saw their incredible builds, I know that if this game goes any longer, it will become so damn fun that my little brain will not be able to handle it. I'm telling them to not do the lore yet, because I'm waiting for the Enhanced Lord to show up at minute 12. Ok, the Enhanced Lord has spawned, so I'm telling my teammates to gather, so we can kill it and finally end this game. Alright, I couldn't expect any less from my teammates, they're seriously not letting me down. Diggy is using the Forbidden Jutsu, 10 steps ahead. He is going to predict Alas ultimate by using his ultimate 10 seconds before Alas ult. I will never be able to reach that level, only 1 in a billion can master this Jutsu. But if you want to play Diggy in a more boring way, you can just wait until the enemies use their ultimate, then you can use his ult. Hey, I'm here big guy. On my way. <laughs> Launch 
You can see I'm trying to destroy the bottom turret, but since I'm a mage, I cannot really take him down that fast, only the ADC can do that. But of course, that will be too boring for the ADC. All he wants is to make the game last as long as possible, so we can make the most epic comeback ever, all part of his plan. At this point, the game has become extremely fun and enjoyable, that my brain couldn't function properly anymore. I see my companion Basha is next to me, and since I am way more fun than the enemy, I know I can easily kill their mages with his help, and then I can take down the remaining bottom turret. Well, I think if you google 1 vs 9 Mobile Legends, you'll probably find this game. But to be honest, now that I'm done with this match, I find it really funny that such a thing could happen in a single game. We are trying to take the lore right now, since all the lanes are being pushed. But Yi Sun Shin is looking for the long term. He wants to farm his 7th item, so the farm carries over the next game. Very smart I might say. The lore is pushing already, the ADC should just lock the turret and end the game right now. But why will he do that? That will make the game no fun at all. Just having a really fun interaction with my teammates. I thought I had enough fun already, and maybe we should just call it a day. But when something's so good, why end it fast, right? Okay, it's a 3v3 now. If I can just kill Farsa, we can definitely end the game right now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I almost got you there right? My teammates of course will not let me down, they are the best when it comes down to making everything so much more entertaining. Retreat. Yes, Cyclops is an astronomer.
on my way. Our turret has been destroyed. You might think the game is already over, but Yin Soo Shin is going to make the most epic comeback in the history of mobile. Okay guys, in all honesty, instead of taking it too seriously, I just wanted to laugh it off. This is why I decided to make the video this way. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I will be making a video about how to build the heroes properly. Thanks, and have a great day. Calm down! It's just a game! Uh, the phrase it's just a game is such a weak mindset! You are okay with what happened. Losing. Imperfection of a craft. When you stop getting angry after losing, you've lost twice.